Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more 3D design. Not so much 3D design, but a how-to on how to do a thing. So someone this past week asked me, Hey, I saw a logo for a thing and I want to 3D print it for a friend. So how do I do that? So here we go. We're, we're going to do the logo as requested. Um, first we're going to open up Tinkercad. So Tinkercad.com. Uh, go ahead, go in there, and click Create a New 3D Design, and you should be right where I am, including with a crazy uh, auto-generated name. So the next thing we're going to do, after we have that set up, is we are going to go to Wikipedia. We are going to search for the organization for the logo. Now, this doesn't work for everything. Obviously, they need a Wikipedia page for it to work out, but... Uh, it turns out the person uh, wanted one that had a Wikipedia page. So a lot of times they'll have the SVG, uh, the uh, Scalable Vector Graphic, of the logo on Wikipedia. And if you look, uh, it's uh, something you can just go download. Okay. So I've got back. Close that out. I'm going to middle click on my mouse. Open that in a new window, or you can right click on it, open a new window, and you're looking at the uh, properties for the image in Wikipedia. So we've got a whole bunch of different options. These are going to be things that aren't SVGs, they are PNG previews. Then we've got the original file listed as an SVG. So we are going to save the link as. And then we're going to save that SVG into a folder. Once we've done that, come back over here to Tinkercad and we can import. And we can just drag that over. And it's already found it. So let's hit import. This should take a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how big or how complex the SVG is. Um, there have been a few that I've used that have been so big that it's crashed it. So I'll be aware that that is a possibility. But for a simple graphic like this one, it is not super huge. It should go relatively quick and should not crash. In this case, it took nearly an entire minute for this logo to come in. So obviously this is too big for what we want, which is realistically fine because we can adjust that later. So I'm going to resize this, something more reasonably sized. It's uh, 80 by 113. Uh, that doesn't matter so much because you can also adjust that in your slicer. Uh, you can change it from a solid to a whole if you want to emboss this. And with a logo like this where there are gaps between parts of the logo, embossing is probably the better way to do it, right? Uh, you've got a couple of different... Uh, ways to set it up is the fill mode. Uh, so default in this case is probably going to be our best bet, right? Uh, the quality slider here, there's no real need to drag that all the way up. Uh, you really only need to adjust that if you're getting the chunkies right here on the edges. This is good enough for most things. If you're going to print it ginormous, maybe bump the quality up just a little bit and for the height uh let's let's choose something a little bit more reasonable about a uh, five millimeter yep see that drop down now when you print this this is going to be two different pieces so you've got to have a plan for how you want to stick that to something and if you've got a smooth or satin uh build plate something that has a texture that you like for the top, then I would recommend printing this upside down. And as soon as it's done printing, uh, mask over the top of it with some masking tape, then break it free from your build plate so that it is stuck in exactly the orientation that you want, right? and then you can stick it to whatever or just display it. Uh, I think that's enough for most of you to get going on printing your own SVGs. 
for your own logos from different places um, that mean something to you. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is going to be a relatively quick, relatively simple print, and getting it to turn into something that can be exported as an STL was super easy. I hope you found this useful, and happy printing. Well, it looks like that's going to do it for us today, guys. I wanted to say thank you for hanging around this long. If you did and you haven't already hit subscribe, please do. Uh, just so you don't miss out on any of the other cool stuff coming on down the road. If you'd like to hang out with us, please hit us up on Discord. Link is in the About section on the channel, or you can go to discord.onesnot.com. And I will see you guys in the next one.